Hi, I'm Mal, and welcome to another episode of Mini Model Makes. It is a lovely a summer's morning, the sun is coming through the window, and it's been a day since the release of the Warhammer Age of Sigmar new edition. And I went to my local hobby shop, Lazy Dragon Games, yesterday and had a cool intro game with both my sons, which was amazing. It's lovely to play games with the kids. And we picked up the new Dominion box set. So I thought I would open it up and do a little video on it. Well, it's probably going to be a big video because this is a hefty box. There's probably a lot in it. Currently, I'm in the middle of doing a video on painting desert bases. So I've interrupted that to crack on with this. So you'll have to forgive me for that. I'll try and get that done a bit later today as well. So without much further ado, I will get the overhead camera set up and we'll get this absolutely massive box set opened up so you can see what's inside. Okay, see you shortly. So here we have the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Dominion box set. This is the time of turmoil. This is the era of war. This is the Age of Sigmar. As you can appreciate, the box is absolutely huge. I've got my camera as f my overhead camera as, as far up as I can get it and as panned out as I can get it, and I still can't fit the box on. It is truly massive. Now, this box is £125 from Games Workshop. My local hobby centre, Lazy Dragon Games, was selling it for £100. A lot of the hobby independent hobby shops are selling it for different prices so research near you see what's uh, cheap what I recommend though is always support one of your local hobby shops especially if you go in there and game even if it's you know if it's only a couple of quid more doesn't matter does it because you go in there and game a lot so you're just giving them that little bit of support because I am in the Lazy Dragons Patreon scheme and I pay so much money a month towards that I picked this box set up for the princely sum of £80.80, and pence, which is truly amazing. So if you are in the Blackpool area and you use Lazy Dragon Games, look at the Patreon programme. You can get some really good discounts with this. So I'm going to open this box set up. I'll just show you the back of the box very, very quickly. Sorry, it's a massive box set. So... On the back, you've got a little bit of an overview what the box contains. So it's got 60 miniatures and all the different miniatures you get there. And the new army, which is the Cruel Boys. You get a 360 page Sigmar core book, you get a start here book, you get 14 war scroll cards, and two allegiance abilities cards. So we'll see. I'm not a big um, Age of Sigmar player, I've not really played it that much. So bear with me, I won't be familiar with a lot of this stuff. And there's an absolutely amazing photograph of the models you get in the box set on a cool table. So, so the first thing we get inside is a piece of card with some amazing artwork on. And it's in really good nick for once it's not full of little bumps and holes from the models which is good because if these are in all right nick i like to hang them up on the wall of the man cave and i really like that so that is going on the wall of my man cave it's pretty cool as you can see i'm just confronted now by an eternity of sprues so, wow one two three Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sprues in my hands at the minute. I know you can't see them. Oh, I've got another card separator. Same artwork, and that's in excellent nick. So whichever one is best out of the two can go on the man cave wall. I've got a wonderful hard back rule book there with some amazing art on it which I'll open up shortly because first things first I'm sorry to get the decent amazing stuff out of the way we've got bases loads of bases loads of little holes in 
to pin all the bits and pieces in the bases so they can go there done and out of the way. Next we have a pack here which has got our war scrolls in and some other bits and pieces so Okay, so Dominion, read this first. So this is using the correct bases and which models go on which. You've got your sprues there and these are just instructions. The models in this are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful models. So once more you've got Stormcast Eternals in the box and the new Cruel Boys. So to begin with you've got all your Stormcast bits and then here we have the Cruel Boys and the new leader who's on some kind of swamp creature. Looks very intimidating. So that's all the instructions for the Cruel Boys. And then on the back you've got some of the... doesn't show you the colour schemes for them But there we are, that's the Dominion sheet of instructions. You've got the War at Amberstone Watch, which will be some kind of campaign book for the models. We always seem to do so much sort of pitched battle stuff when sometimes we've got wonderful campaigns and it's good to do campaigns. So this is actually the story behind it all. Stormcast Eternals tells you a bit about everything. Indicators and the Cruel Boys. Killer Bosses, Swamp Caller Shamans, Merc Knobs, Gut Rippers, Manskewer Bolt Boys, Hub Grot Slitters. So actually, there's no campaign stuff in there, that's just fluff and background for everything, which is quite nice because you don't get a codex, do you? In, in these books, or an army book, as it were. So it's good they've given you an overview, especially because it's two sort of brand new armies as well. These are new models for, for the Stormcast. So that's quite a nice little overview they're giving us there in that book. The War Scrolls. As so you've got the Killer Boss, Try and get these nicely into shot and then you can uh, pause the video and you can read what all these are. It's probably the best way of doing it I think, I'm talking over a bit. So that's the Killer Boss. The Swamp Caller Shaman or Shaman depending on where you are in the world. We've got a killer boss on a great Nash tooth. You must get two killer bosses in the box set. A Merc knob, who I think is some kind of caster. We've got gut rippers. And hub grot slitters. So this is sort of the new direction that the orcs are taking, or in uh, Age of Sigma. Very much remind me of the orcs and goblins from the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings films. Very Middle Earth looking. Impressive, loads of detail in them. So that's the Cruel Boys pitch battle profiles and allegiance abilities as well. So that's the Cruel Boys done. Then we have the Indrasta the Celestial Spear for the Stormcast Eternals. 
she looks an absolutely amazing model. My son's kind of upset because he wants dragons and there's there's no dragons in there. <laughs> She's amazing though. There's the Lord Imperitant. See so yet another random lord who's got different abilities. Got the Knight Arcanum or Arcanum. So they've got a caster in there. Knight Vexilor, standard bearer basically. So he'll have some army buffing abilities, no doubt. We've got Vindicators, which are the new shield and spear models, which I think have a very Greek classical kind of feel to them. Uh, what I love about these is the the slimmer than the other Stormcast models we've had so far. They look a lot more uh, sort of that Greek classical kind of armour. Here uh, we have Praetors. The sleeker, the, you know, they feel a bit more realistic in effect. Then there's Annihilators which are the big Beefy armoured boys with hammers and shields. They look quite cool. And then you've got the Stormcast Eternal Overview, which is the pitched battle profiles and the Allegiance abilities. So that's all the War Scroll cards. As I've said, you can pause those bits. And read them all for yourself, go through your rules. We're going to open up the big hardback book now. I was sort of a bit sceptical with this when it said it, there's like a, a book you get with it. I was thinking they were going to give us some softback rules. And if you wanted a hardback version of the book, you would have to buy that as well. So this is the core book. And a very beautiful book it looks indeed. New book smell. I love the smell of binding glue and new books. So, some amazing artwork in here. So, from a content point of view, you've got all this Age of Myth and this new stuff. Some beautiful artwork. And it's all collecting, and painting, and choosing a faction and things. Which I always used to thought was in the back part of the box. It seems to be in the front now. Building and painting. Not so much paintings, it's just, you know, the usual Games Workshop by our things. Uh, without going too in depth into painting the box set, I really wish there was uh, a more in depth painting guide with these box sets. I would love something like that to go with. There you've got open play and match play, some wonderful pictures there, Warhammer World, which I've really missed during lockdown. I miss going and playing tournaments. So then we're going through all this fluff about Sigma, the powers of chaos. Wonderful. The artwork's absolutely beautiful. Nurgle stuff that Nurgle find fighting zinch there all things. You've got the Realm Gate Wars, so it's going through sort of all the history of Age of Sigmar and the Soul Wars, what's been going on. Here we have the Elves to shine amongst the darkness. The Mortal Realms themselves, Crusades, all the different parts of the world. And then going through some sort of scenery. And then we have the map of Akshi, the realm of fire. The great parch. A 
loads of bits and pieces about that. As you can see, you get a little uh, bit on each bit. You've got the bright city. Giran, the realm of life. Gur, the realm of beasts. You've got all this background. Shish. And Hish, the realm of light. Got a little bit of uh, bookmark in the book, which is good. So you're going through, there's good old free peoples. Oh, I miss Empire Armies. Seraphon. The Ideneth. Sylvaneth, Daughters of Cain, so you've got, you've got all Lumineth, you've got all the bits and pieces you need on your background to help you pick your faction or learn about things. The Carriage on Overlords, tons and tons and tons of so much fluff, I can't believe I've ever seen so much background in a book. Which is amazing. I love reading all that stuff and finding out all that stuff about people. So, Gloom's still going, and eventually <laughs> we get to the rules, which is still a good chunk of book, but nowhere about half or a third of the background. So, you've got all the introduction, and they've put a player's code in there now. Give your opponent the chance to examine your dice rolls. Never complain about your bad luck or your opponent's good luck. Sorry, I'll break that one all the time. I will whinge about the amount of ones I roll. <laughs> right, so you've got all your core rules here and what to do. You've got examples, pictorial examples, combat phases, attack sequences. So it goes through in depth all your core rules are in there. Then open play. Narrative play, which I think is very underrated. It's great to have scenarios and do bits and pieces, not just fight pitch battles all the time. Once more, wonderful artwork and, and pictures through this. And then you've got some examples of armies at the back, studio collections. So you've got Blades of Corn. Beautiful army. Studio collections. So, yeah, just, just the one guy. Okay. Then you've got different narrative play missions in here, which is really cool. So you can try those out. And then you've got your matched play, which is your normal tournament style things. Oh, here we go. We've got some Lumineth there. Very, another beautiful army. More bits, Siege Warfare, Relief Force, Triumph and Treachery, so all sorts of bits and pieces there. And then you've got your Rules Index in the back. And you've got a Path to Glory roster and an Order of Battle, which you can photocopy in an army roster. So you can photocopy all of that and, and put it into a folder or something for your army. So yeah, really nice. Beautiful hardback book. Lovely. And now we're going to get onto all the frames. What I'm going to try to do is have the cards so I can describe to you who I have and why because they're all full of names. So these are appear to be the Vindicators. I'm going to try and zoom in now on these. So you've got these lovely aesthetic models here with the spears and shields. Uh, 
and you've got a, a banner there with the lightning bolts of Sigmar on. So it looks like you've got how many spears? One, two, three, four, five. You might be getting five or six models out of one of these frames of three. Line infantry, so nothing too fancy on there. That's another frame. Again, I'll zoom out a bit there because so you can grasp it more. Exactly the same frame with that infantry on. We've got the same for the cruel boys. So I'm assuming these are the hobgrots and the gut rippers because they've got the shields. Quite a bit smaller still than the Stormcast. Very thin, very aesthetic again. You know, they're not big and chunky pieces. So much detail on these. Sorry, zooming in. They've got little pouches and ropes and banner poles and things about them that, I mean, it's going to be a nightmare to paint them because there's going to be so much stuff on them. But, wow, <laughs> wow, that's all I can say, really. And then we've got a frame with, I think this has got the characters on. So we have just pop another light on to help me. The cruel boys again. So on this frame it's the killer boss on his big beastie. Loads of detail on that model. Big spear and he's on some sort of ruined scenery there. The head of the thing, that's it comes in two halves. Sorry, just trying to get it in shot. That looks a nasty, nasty creature. He's even got an Ogor's head on his banner pole. So he means business, he's killed a few important things. He looks to be quite a big model actually, he's a bit bigger than, or quite a bit bigger than his boys. So that's him. And then I think you've got a, another cruel boss on foot here. And you've got the shaman. So lots of... Zooming in and zooming out. But yeah. Loads of beautiful bits and pieces on that frame. So quite a split. This might actually be the shaman instead. The swamp caller. You've got him with his pot. Loads of gubbins and ladles and bits and pieces. Tons to put. There's... So the people who just collect the models and want to just paint them up and do an absolutely beautiful job. There's what well, look I mean the rush is the little bull rush on his that'll go on his base. It's just superb really. <laughs> and then you've got the other character which is for the Stormcast. So that's the Lord Imperitant. He's got his cloak there. He's got a stonking great warhammer. Lovely, nice modelled base again. And you have a Griffhound to accompany him. We love a Griffhound. Great little models to paint those. So that's two more characters on that sprue. It's quite nice.
Then here's another sprue. Oh, in fact, this is the killer boss on foot, sorry. So I don't know what was on that other frame. It might be some more of the normal models. So you've got the killer boss on foot and you have the Knight Arcanum. So that's your caster for your storm cast. Another absolutely glorious model. I love the head options. So you've got the option for the bare head on her or a masked option if you don't want to paint skin. That's great. More heavily detailed scenic bases again. I've got a spell book there. Really nice model, I love that. Really cool. It'll be interesting to put them up against my Stormcast and see how what the size difference is like. So yeah, here's your, your killer boss on foot for the cruel boys. Once again another scenic base with a dead Stormcast on the base for it. Once more lovely model. You have to be careful with all the banners, they've got loads of little spikes and things which is going to be a nightmare for transporting your models around. I think it might be worth magnetising your bases on these ones. Once again, a nice frame. Here's the next one, so if we've got Vindicators these are the Praetors. So, loads of flowing capes and the halberds on there. Once more, really nicely sculpted an individual. Not as chunky as some of the Stormcast stuff we've seen before. Lovely models. Sorry, loads of zooming on this. And then we've got more from the Krill Boys with the shields. These are big, so the small ones must be the Hobgrots. And then these are your bigger actual boys themselves. So loads of shields on there and serrated spears. Not as big as orcs that we're used to. Uh, but I don't know how Orc players would feel about that, but still amazing looking models, really love the shields and the mouths on them, uh, superb, Vexilor, we have the, what, what are the big boys called again, Annihilators. And you have Indraster. So, for this frame, look at the size of the shields. They are huge. And then that's the back of the armour for them. They've got some big, meaty hammers. You've got the, the standard there, which is... The detail on the standard is amazing. That's going to be lovely to paint as well. All you model painters out there, you're going to absolutely adore the amount of detail on these. So you've got the three of those, you've got the standard bearer, and then you have Indraster. Once more, the sculpting is just out of this. And for the Stormcast players, probably the one they want most. The models on there are absolutely gorgeous. That's all I can really convey. So 60 models in that. Amazing value for money really. It, you know if it's a £125 box set. All the models are working out at what, roughly two quid each. That's before the massive book and, and everything else you've got. So yeah, while the, the prices of all these box sets keep creeping up and up and up, certainly good value for money there. So that is it. 
I hope you agree. Uh, amazing box set. All you Age of Sigmar players should be over the moon and really excited about delving into that. I'm now going to let my son look through all that and be amazed by it. I will wrap up this video and I'll get back up to the normal camera. So see you shortly. So that was the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Dominion box set. Truly, it's a massive, massive box. You get so much in there, it's unbelievable. I hope that's given you an idea of what's in the box set if you can't actually get to a shop or see what's in there and giving you some idea of whether you want to buy it or not. I'm not here to influence you in any way. It's, it's just to give you an overview and let you come up, well, make you, your own mind up, come up with your own decision whether you want to get that or not. What I would do, say is make sure you support your local hobby shop if you can or your local games workshop. Go to them. Be amazing for them absolutely wonderful box set not much more to say except for please like subscribe and share i am just a guy in his man cave doing his own hobby i'm not a, a, a shop or anything myself so i'm massively appreciative of anyone who subscribes i've got like 200 subscribers and i just think it's over the moon that that people are interested in my hobby so thank you so much for that uh, please everyone out there stay safe take care and bye for now.